Welcome back, NWA on Fire fans. You have another week of great pro wrestling for you. This week, you're going to see the Berlin Mauler, Joseph Von Schmidt, as he meets Black Thunder. A classic from the vaults, as mean Mark Callis takes on Terry Von Erich. Then a ladies match, Amanda Storm, as she meets Naughty Adriana. And then our main event for the night, the Boston bad boy, Jason Rumble, tangles with Biff Busack. All that and more this week. Fans, stay tuned! Fans, up next, you're going to see in action Joseph Von Schmidt. All right, welcome back to NWA on Fire, fans. Here we have come to the ring Joseph Von Schmidt. The Berlin Mauler, looking to be a great match tonight. Or as I call him, Colonel Clink. Colonel Clink. I think it's the monocle that does it. It might be, it might be. He's looking a little little refined out there with uh, that monocle and those uh, medals there. And you know, he's going to make so many fans here in the United States, uh, you know, so happy bringing that German flag into the ring. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, here at NWA on Fire, we represent a multinational collection of professional wrestlers. And the crowd already on his case out of USA, USA. Absolutely, looks like he's having some words with the announcer there. The announcer saying, if you don't stop jamming USA, he's going to leave. Well, okay, you can do that, but you know what? You will lose with the, the money for the match tonight, so you'll be the loser tonight. So, hey. Absolutely, and what does he expect? I mean, he's in the USA with a USA crowd. Well, he doesn't like the United States. He doesn't like anyone here. He looks, he, look at that. He doesn't like anyone here. And you know what? I think the quicker he gets out of this ring, the happier he's going to be. I think he's, I think he's threatening to leave right now. Yeah, he might be. Threatening to leave, I think, at this very moment. Now yeah, he's thinking about it. Nope. And you would think a competitor of his caliber is more worried about getting the job done than what the crowd has to say. Well, you know what? He does let the crowd get to him, which could be, you know, his Achilles heel, so to speak. That could be. So that could be. Well, especially with the electrifying match we have here tonight. Yep. Oh, man. Well, he's taking on Black Thunder. Black Thunder. Uh, Black Thunder, I've seen him many times before. He'll put you down in two seconds. Absolutely. Any time kind of Thunder for anything. Nope. Please. And you know what? Crowd's solid behind Mr. Thunder, obviously. He'd like to be the crowd favorite tonight. Definitely. Taking, very, taking his time, getting to the ring, saying, you know what? I'm not going to run out here. I don't need to. Just get in the ring, my own good time. Joseph Von Schmidt, though, looking at that. They, oh, there you go. The, the, US, the pumped a little bit. USA champ, he does not like it. He's telling the ref, cover my ears. I don't want to hear this. He just hates, hates America, doesn't he? He does not. He yeah. does not like us at all. Yeah. Too bad you're here, Russell. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Black Thunder looking to get this looking to get this started. And Von Schmidt just pacing back and forth in that ring. Well, it'll be very interesting to see the pace of this match because Black Thunder usually likes things pretty slow and Von Schmidt can go fast or slow. So we shall see what the pace of this match and how things are going to go. Man, I'll tell you, that USA chant. Yeah, this Black Thunder definitely taking advantage of the psychological warfare being waged in this game yeah, tonight. And that could make that could make Von Schmidt very angry and make a mistake. Absolutely, just like in baseball, the crowd is the uh, 12th man, as it were, so to speak, or the sixth man in basketball, or however many players you have on your team. Here we go, locking up. Into the quarter, clean break, clean break. Let's see if we get a clean one from the jump. No, of course. Did you not. did you think you, you were gonna get one? I really one? didn't. I was hoping. A little, yeah. little part of me hoped. Tom. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and he's going throwing kisses to all the Freud lines in the audience. But uh, I don't think he's gonna be. Uh, the, I don't really think the crowd. He's making too many friends in the crowd. I'm not at all. Not at all. Black Thunder getting everybody motivated. Crowd's definitely going. Double him. tie up into the corner. Interestingly enough, you know what? Black Thunder could back up Joseph Von Schmidt because he's no hot lightweight. No, definitely not. Both competitors here weighing at 200 plus pounds, kilos, if you're on the European system. We're not. Well, we're not. That, that's, that's <laughs> absolutely it. We are not. <laughs> Man, Black Thunder getting that shit going again. And Joseph Von Schmidt, every time he hears that, he looks more and more unhappy, doesn't he? That's it. it might just be Black Thunder's clear advantage tonight. Honorable tie up once again. Now Joseph Von Schmidt brings him into the corner and oh, he just starts pounding away with those German fists. Oh, Black Thunder though, coming back and says, all right, that's the German fist, here's the Puerto Rican fist. There it is. 
And, whoa, ducks and clothesline. Hits him with that elbow guard. And chop. Black Thunder, very aggressive, very aggressive and against that Joseph is the man who hold his ground, that is for sure. Oh, you went just whistling Dixie. Oh, Props him with that leg. Big leg there from Black Thunder. Looking One, for the cover. Two. Von Schmidt says no. And Von Schmidt goes very quickly to the outside. Smart, smart, you know, smart thinking on Von Schmidt's part, actually, because you know what? You gotta slow the pace down, slow it to what I like. You know, you got to control the timing of the match. Sometimes you can control what the other competitor might be uh, thinking. And you also, you now. also might be able to frustrate your opponent if you keep on going out there and taking breaks. That is true, but you know what? It looks like Von Schmidt's the one who's frustrated here tonight. I think so. <laughs> Von Schmidt doing a few exercises outside just for good measure. Black Thunder just waiting in his corner, saying, "All right, I'll wait for you." Thunder coming right back in. He's got a head full of steam, but Von Schmidt answers. Big leg and then some elbows there to his back. In the corner again, Black Thunder now does big boots over and over again from the German. Now just pressing against the side of the, side of the head. He's that top rope for leverage too. Ref's giving him the count. And again, he goes right back in. Now he's using the bottom rope as a choke. Oh, Ariel, look at this. That is incredible. That's just sort of the dirty deeds you see from the German. Smart enough, though, to not let the count go all the way for a disqualification. Yep, always keeps that count in mind. And another foot to the, to the red basket. Looks like. Oh, but Black Thunder coming back with a chop. Another chop. Another chop. Look at this. And no, oh, you know what? That's his eyes rake. Those, that eye rake will break up anything. It sure will. Off the ropes comes Von Schmidt oh. and right up against them. Right against that middle rope. And now Black Thunder looking in a pretty bad way here. The German thinks he's got things well in hand, but you know what? Do not count Black Thunder out. I said, do not be quick to discount your opponent out there, especially when facing a man of Black Thunder. And into the corner of Black Thunder, Joseph Von Schmidt coming in. Yes, hits him with that clothesline. Very nicely done on Black the German's Thunder part. Looking like he's a little stunned. The German doing well to take advantage of the momentum he's got going here right now. You got that right. It's all about mo momentum in these matches, isn't it, Ariel? Absolutely. You can control it one way. You can control it the other way. Sometimes it'll just work out to your advantage. Oh, now Black Thunder. Oh, just right takes to the him mat. To the, just takes him by the back of his head and just bam into that mat. You know what? Sh Schmidt just taking too much time there. This point. He's showboating a little bit. Walking around. Can't grandstand like that with a competitor like Black Thunder. See, no, he doesn't even get a count there. You're so right. Ariel, you're so right. Say, he might be stunned and he might be a little little bit hurt there, but he's definitely not out of his match just yet. He's using that rope now to choke him again. Ref's putting the count on him again. He stops right before the five count. And what's Black Thunder going to do? Black Thunder looks like he's a little worse for wear right now. Oh no, my mistake. Coming back though. 